A lot of companies do that. And so he wrote best-selling books about the subject and exposed how they staged uh, the, uh, the, the uh, oil shortage in the 70s both times. But then, back in July, I got a call from Dr. Stan Monteith, and he said it was very important, so I called him, and he said, look, I can't talk about this yet. Uh, there's, there's somebody that we both know who's got some powerful information about what they're going to do with oil prices, but as soon as he's ready to go public, I'll interview him first, and then you can talk to him. So Dr. Monteith interviewed him, and then we had him on a few days after uh, there in July. <clears throat> when, when, when oil was at, depending on what day it was in that week when I had him on, between 147 and $149 a barrel. Now, it went down last week to 134 and it's right at that point right now. But guys, check uh, crude oil prices. Google that and pull up me a, C a CNBC chart on crude oil prices. I want to just check what it is today because a few days ago it was 34 bucks, but I want to check that. And, and this fit into all my other research and all the other you know, former you know, heads of policy, Department of Treasury, and just all the Nobel Prize winners in economics we've had on. The globalists create all this fiat money. They buy up the world with it. They get everybody into a debt-based fiat economy. And then as soon as we went to the point of being a negative debt nation, they were going to pull the plug. And we also got that from two different Bilderberg sources in June of 2006. On record, Daniel Estelin on this show, Jim Tucker on this show, and the video at the hotel down the street from Bilderberg. Okay, what did your sources say? Okay, two Bilderberg members that are leaking us info. I mean, this is cat and mouse. This is being followed down alleys and, 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 you know, guys in black sedans following you. It's all an end game. I mean, literally being followed around. Like in a, well, this video out of Istanbul, Turkey, looks like something from uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark where they're going through those bazaars and people are following them, just trying to meet with somebody. In a, and then, you know, literally you meet with a Bilderberg Group member or their their secretary, and, and then they tell you, in a, you know, okay, I'm going out the back of this door. This is what they're planning. See you. Oh, and, you know, they're I mean, this is the type of stuff... We go through to bring you this information. And it's almost like pearls before swine. I mean, everything we talk about comes true. Everything we talk about is accurate. We said almost three years ago, it's what, um, two years and nine months ago, that they would pop the subprime mortgage, but first they were going to drive oil up to 150. It was like 65 then. That sounded crazy. That was already an all-time record. 65, 67 to be exact. That sounded crazy. Daniel Eslin said from Bilderberg sources that they were going to suck everybody back into the stock market, run it back up to 13,000, exactly what happened. Then they would pop the subprime mortgage by name directly from Bilderberg and that then everything would implode. <sighs> then I remember talking to Estelin after um, Turkey and he got so many threats and so much stuff went on. Notice you don't hear it from Daniel Estelin anymore. Uh, they tried to kill him again. Uh, he won't come on air. Daniel Estelin's gone, folks. He doesn't do radio anymore. If you notice that, maybe we can coax him back on. But this gets to people that have children. He has children now. With me, when they threaten my family, I just have to say, God, it's in your hands. I commit. I commit. We're about to go to Lindsay. I just want to preface all of this. Lindsay comes on here when oil is one hundred and forty seven plus dollars a barrel, and he says within six months it'll be below fifty. No one could have imagined that, but it came directly from top oil exec. And it's on record that Lindsay worked for these people. Now, right after the time Lindsay told me this, I have family in East Texas and in Houston who were all in oil. And We'd been waiting with bated breath with some family land we got because the gas wells and oil wells never get built down towards where our property's at. We're always, wow, that'd be great if that ever happened to us. And it stopped. Now they're, you know, back running around. But the whole point is, is that the inside scoop from oil companies was, and I even had dinner one time at my dad's uh, house, uh, and there was a oil company owner, but of one of the thousands of small ones, who was there, and he was saying, and this is about six months ago, that, yeah, they're planning to drop the price. So this is after Lindsay tells me this, I start putting feelers out in the kind of mid-level, because, I mean, oil is the biggest industry here in Texas, bigger than telecommunications, bigger than computers. So it's it's all over the place. And so I said, there's a lot of credence to that, but it wasn't dropping yet. Then it starts dropping now down to $134 a barrel. And crude oil today... is $33.55 a barrel. 
Unbelievable. We're on, in fact, punch that up. He just showed me one of the indexes off the mercantile and said $33. New York, uh, Mexican crudes at 35 and one cent. Comex gold is at 979. It's just surging, what, more than $15 today. But, but anyway, side issue. You better listen to what Lindsey's saying because well, everything he said made perfect sense with all the other data I had, then it fell in place, and then he was proven right, which is scary because they plan to bankrupt the Arabs, bankrupt the world. In fact, I left it out there, guys, that New York Times about Mumbai uh, totally imploding. It was on top of the printer last night. I meant to have it for today's show. I print stuff for research and then don't get it in there. It, 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 it was the one about uh, Dubai totally imploding and everybody losing their jobs. Everything he's saying is coming true for a worldwide depression where all that's left is the bankers and their control. So you better listen to Lindsey Williams because what he's saying is exactly what they're doing, destroying the entire world economy by design. When we went over the line in January of 2007 and America became a negative economy, that is, more debt than we had investments or profits. We are a debtor nation. That's when the bankers pulled the plug. That's when it was time to blow the Ponzi scheme. But unlike regular Ponzi schemes where the Madoff or whatever runs off with the money, in this one they implode the Ponzi scheme and get the whole world. Now that's a long introduction, but I wanted to back up Lindsey Williams. He'll be with us till about 40 after in the next hour. Uh, Pastor Williams, great to have you here. Thank you, Alex, for allowing me to be with you today on InfoWars. Uh, Three years' time, I had the privilege, by the providence of God, of living with the elite. For the past 35 years, just as you have just stated, everything that I say has come directly from them. Then came the opportunity of a lifetime when I actually talked with a gentleman I had not seen for 25 years just a few months ago, and he told me everything that was going to happen, everything that the elite had planned for the world for the next year to a year and a half, and that's all I have done for the past 35 years is voice what I have heard the elite say because of the privilege that I have of living with them for three years' time. Now, since the program last week, Alex, I've done this especially for your program today. I have investigated and looked the world over for what's happening worldwide in order to put together what this man told me into a, a global uh, picture. So and you continue. We're about to break, Lindsay. Yeah. Lindsay, we're going to come back and give you the floor to walk through that. Since you were on last week, even more of what you said was confirmed with the Arabs going bankrupt, Russia, Eastern Europe going bankrupt, all because of the oil plunging in price by three quarters. Exactly what you said, Lindsay. Lindsay Williams is our guest. Just amazing. Uh, and we're going to be taking your calls coming up in about 20 minutes for the rest of the time he's with us. I want you to be able to address your questions to Lindsay Williams. No, we already had folks holding, but it'll, it's all on the same subject, the New World Order. Stay with us. All right, I gave you quite a bit of the background with Lindsey Williams and uh, what this top oil company executive that he's known for many years called him and told him, threatened him. Telling him, look, Lindsay, you made that video that tens of millions have seen for free on Google Video. We want that offline or something bad's going to happen to you. But you can tell people this. We're going to bankrupt the world, and there's nothing you can do about it. And, Lindsay, you ought to get out of the U.S. All right, Lindsay, everything you said's coming true. As the globalists bankrupt the planet. Please continue. Well, Alex, there positively is a group of people on the face of the earth who control the world, and there's only one power in the universe who is able to overcome them, and that's divine. Unless God steps in, there positively is no way to stop these people. I lived with them for three years. I know many of them. I know who they are. They told me back just a few months ago, and Alex, you allowed me the privilege of telling something so phenomenal that the world couldn't possibly believe it, it was impossible for it to happen. It would devastate the world's economy if it took place. And you allowed me on July the 28th to tell on your program that I had been told by an individual who knows everything that the elite have planned on the face of this earth for the next year to a year and a half. And, Alex, I'm so appreciative that you would even allow me to tell such outlandish things because 
there's no way in this world that it could have taken place without. Well, Lindsay, I've known you for years, and I've also known for years Dr. Monteith since the mid '90s. So I knew that you at least were told this, and I knew everything you talked about in the past had been accurate. And we got laughed at, I got laughed at, you got laughed at, but they're not laughing now. They told me that the price of crude oil was going from $147 a barrel to $50 a barrel. I said, why are you doing this? They said, we're going to bankrupt OPEC, the oil-producing countries of the world. I got laughed at. You're exactly right. There's no way that the Arabs and the OPEC and the oil-producing countries could declare bankruptcy. They said, and this is yet to take place, you'll watch this play out over the next year's time, Alex, because right now this is not true. Great Russia will become a great power, and they told me that was going to happen. That hasn't happened yet. I asked him about Dubai. He said it's going to become a ghost town. Now, 